Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today, guys, I wanted to show you an update on my bicycle generator because we've made some modifications and it's working great. So to begin with in this video on the update, as you can see, I coyote tan painted the bicycle, uh, kind of my trademark. But right now, I've not got the bicycle hooked to a load, so I'm just kind of open voltage. And I'm already making enough power to uh, charge a battery right now. And this is the speed I'm going. I mean, this is it. A child could operate this. I mean, as I said that in the past in the build video, if you've not seen it, you can check that link right there. But right now, I mean, I've got it geared to the point where, I mean, a very young child could operate this. You could do this for hours and not be worn out. I mean, there's, you know, if you had to do this in an emergency situation, here is an opportunity to charge battery bank and everything like that without having to worry about you know putting more power in to get power out because I mean right now I am doing something to get that power but at the same time you're gonna need exercise later down the road too so you know where that you would have been spending that time at work and on a job and all the other things you can focus it now to making power at home if your solar panels are not producing or your wind turbines not turning and so on so anyway, I'm going to hop off the bike now and I'm going to show you some modifications and things that I've done to it. Okay, so to start with, I would make one note on this is the motor that I showed in the original build video. I would try to get some kind of cover or something to go over this just to shield this so that these ends don't get damaged on the wire leads because um, you don't want to damage your motor or anything like that because this is very important. I mean, you don't want that to go down because that's the heart and soul of this, this project right here. Um, this motor, make sure that you have a DC powered motor, um, a treadmill motor, because you've got to remember that where this had to move a human, and it took a lot of power to move a human being, now a human being is moving this geared through a bicycle, you know, that's your transmission in a sense, so now you're making a lot of power back out. So you've got to remember that because you don't want an alternator at all. Because if you watch all these other videos on YouTube and the alternator, okay, you see these people are like <laughs> about to stroke out trying to get it done. That's not going to get it, okay? You cannot go that route. Do not go that route. You want this something comfortable for everyone to use. Now another thing is I noticed that the frame kind of wanted to be a little loose on me afterwards. So what I'm going to do is put a sleeve right in here that's the only other thing I have not done yet and kind of bushing that out so it stays tight into place and I don't have to make adjustments on the bail. And another thing about the bolts is make sure that you get very hardened grade bolts. Uh, heck, if you can get grade 8 wired out, they'll be here when the most high comes back. Um, and that way, you know, your frame is very well supported. But this frame's held up good. I mean, we've hauled this places, took it, showed it at prepper meetings and things like that. But just make sure that your wires and everything is zip tied out of the way. Um, the coating on all the cable and everything, I made sure and put a DC powered uh, voltmeter onto it now so that I don't have to have an external power source. So you can see there that as I'm producing power, it's coming off that lead now. Um, like I had talked about doing in the original build video. And so now that's in place and it's working great. And that way you don't have to have a charge controller. I mean, see, that's the thing. People have emailed me or, or contacted me on YouTube or whatever, have asked about this bicycle uh, project. And I'm sorry I haven't done an update sooner. You don't need a charge controller. You are your charge controller. When you're charging, just don't do over 14 volts. Okay, and that way, when an EMP strikes, you don't have to worry about an EMP knocking out this thing. It's EMP proof, if you think about it. The only thing you would really have to worry about is if it took out your blocking diode. And I've thought about that, too, is you could get your little metal tube, put your blocking diode in it, and shove it into one of these ends of your bicycle handle and put the cover back on it and forget about it. And if for some reason the EMP ever does come and knocks that out, and you'll know it because when you hook it to your battery, the thing will try to start uh, turning itself, then just change your blocking diode, 
to the one that you had saved in your metal canister and you're ready to go again. So um, I guess that's pretty much covers all the update on it. If you have any further questions, and I know a lot of you guys have, just put it in the um, yeah comment section below and I'll try my best to answer it. But I think that's covered all the questions that everybody's asked. This is the best project I've probably ever done on the channel. I've enjoyed this one more than probably any of them. Uh, it's just a great thing to do as a family out in the workshop. It doesn't take long. Just commit a day to it and you can get it quick. But if you got any more questions, just ask me. And until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you guys have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.